Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Somewhere Only We Know, the Lily Allen's version. It sounds just like this. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of things going on in that song. And the key to play that song is to understand all the patterns, especially on the right hand. Knowing that will make your learning process much, much easier. So let's start. We're playing in the key of B flat major. And we're starting with a B flat chord. Playing B flat and F on the left. B flat, D, and F, right hand. Then we have D minor with A on the bass. A and F, A, D, F. From here we're going to go up on C minor with C and G, C, E flat, and G. And finally, we're playing F sus4. Octave F, C, F, and B flat. And from here, we're going to take down the B flat by one half step to play A, and that's F major. Second version. So, from the top, we have B flat major, D minor over A, C minor, F sus4, and also F. So, like I said, playing the song is just a matter of understanding all the patterns. So let's play that intro. Okay, let's first break down what we have on the right hand. So that's the main pattern we're going to use. We have three notes played on the right. I'm going to start with the note in between, then the bottom note, and then the top two notes at the same time, like this, and then repeat from here. By the way, just after playing the top two notes, I'm going to replay my bottom note. So that's our first pattern. I'm going to use it over B flat, D minor over A, C minor, like so. Two, three, four. So I'm always starting with the note in between, and then the rest will follow. Like that. Okay, we're going to start the intro a little bit differently. Over B flat, we have this. So I played the top two notes, then B flat, back to the top two notes. Okay, and then after that, back to B flat. So that's how I'm going to start my first chord over B flat. And then I'm going to use the pattern we just learned. Starting with the note in between. Two, three, four.
So that's for B flat major. Then I'm going to continue with D minor, C minor, and then for F sus4, going to F, what I'm going to do is play the tap two notes, so F and B flat, and play the back and forth with the bottom note, so C. And then play F using a rolling effect. So I'm not going to play all three notes at the same time, but just like playing an arpeggio, I'm going to play C, then F, and after that, A. Just like that. So here it is again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So pretty much I'm playing one measure of a B flat, one measure of a D minor, one measure for C minor, and then next measure, I'm playing F sus4 on the first beat, followed by F on the third. Two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, perfect. The hardest part was on the right hand. Now let's play the left. So simple enough, I'm going to play the bottom note first. So first chord, I have B flat and F on my left. So bottom note and then the top note just after that. One and two, three, four, that's the first measure. Same thing for the next one, one and two with A and F. And now for C minor, one and two and three, four. I played C, G, and after that I'm going to add E flat. So the minor third, one and two and three, four. And then I'm going to finish playing F and I'm going to rest on that note for the entire measure. One, two, three, four. Again, one and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Let's combine the left with the right hand. Two, three, four. One more time. Two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great, that was the intro. We can now move on to the next section, and that's the verse, the first verse. It goes like this. So pretty much we're playing the same thing as the intro and we're starting playing over B flat with the pattern, directly with the pattern. So right hand, we're starting with the middle note for the entire measure. One, two, three, four. And then for D minor over A, same thing. One, two, three, 
four. For C minor now, on the right hand, I'm playing the same thing, but on the left, I'm no longer adding that E flat after playing G. One, two, three, four. And now we have F, so it's four, resolving to F major. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. So now we're changing the pattern both on the left and the right hand. So for F sus4, same thing, back and forth between the top two notes and the bottom note. But for F, I have the top two notes played, the bottom note, and then F back to the bottom note. And after that, I'm going to repeat. So that's for the right hand. Now for the left. So what I'm doing here is playing the bottom F on the octave, and then I'm going to replay the top F. One and two. So first beat, bottom F on the end of the second. One and two. Sorry, on the end of the first beat, I'm going to replay the top F. One and two and three and four and. And playing that on my right hand, I'm going to play with F and A once again my top F. One and two and three and four and. So basically I'm playing that again on the third and fourth beat. And that's what we're going to do for the verse. So here it is again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, F sus four. Then repeat. Perfect. Just after that, we're starting the pre-chorus. Okay, if you got everything, let's replay the intro and verse at full speed. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also, don't forget to subscribe.